Today, we're gonna to be talking about some cheap fragrances. I'm gonna be unboxing them, giving you first impressions on them, each one of these under 40 bucks. Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. I've only got two fragrances today, actually. Halloween Man Hero and Pepe Jeans Cocktail Edition. This one, I believe, was $27, and this one was $38. Each of these should be solid summertime fragrances. The note breakdowns look really promising. So let's jump into it and check these out. Now these I ordered online and I had a little bit of an issue. Not a huge deal, actually pretty minor, all things considered, but I'm gonna let you know about it really quickly. So I ordered these on Wednesday and I told my friend Tommy at Studio Sense about these fragrances because he's wanted them too. So he placed an order uh, maybe three, four hours after I did. I paid a little extra, got two day shipping. He used the free ground shipping, or at least I think it was free. Might've been just a few bucks less. Anyway, Friday comes and I don't have it. No big deal because they said that they shipped it out Wednesday, I think about 4 p.m. So I was thinking, yeah, it'll just come Saturday. Saturday comes, nothing. But Tommy at Studio Sense, and I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. If you haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out. He's a cool guy. He gets them in Saturday. Actually sends me a picture. Whoa, it just came in so fast. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. Let me check my tracking. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> so I call UPS and UPS says, no, where you bought it from, they didn't get it to us in time. So that's why you're not gonna have it until Monday. Then I contact the company and I say, hey, um, could you guys maybe refund me or just charge me the amount that ground shipping would have been because uh, UPS says you didn't ship it out or at least ship it out in time. And then they say, no, actually the problem here is UPS, they don't deliver on Saturdays. That's the problem. And so when I got that email in, I was just kind of like, Really? Interesting. So I had to respond and say, well, actually, UPS does, in fact, deliver on Saturdays. Um, everybody knows that. And then they walked it back and they said, oh yeah, you're right. Um, so actually, Mother's Day happened. And so I think they must just be backed up three or four days. <laughs> It was basically turning into like that Spider-Man meme where Spider-Man is pointing at the other Spider-Man. So UPS was like, it's your fault. And they were like, no, it's UPS's fault. And so I said, that's fine, whatever. I don't need the refund, I'll just wait. And then I think they found out that I have a channel and then they quickly refunded me. And they were like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience. We didn't realize you know, who this was and all that. So that was a long story, but you get the idea. If you order from that website, and I'll link them below, uh, I wouldn't pay for the two-day shipping, basically. Let's go ahead and open these up. I'm gonna do this one first, the cocktail edition of Pepe Jeans. This is their 2019 limited edition release, which up until now has actually been kind of hard to find. And some of the Pepe Jeans fragrances are actually surprisingly good. I'm gonna link in the description uh, both Halloween Man and Pepe Jeans fragrances that I think are the best in the lineup. So if you're interested in either line of fragrances, I'll put the best ones below. So here's a quick look at that Pepe Jeans box. It got a bit busted up in transit, but no big deal. I like the pattern here. It is textured, so you can feel that. There's the bottom. So there's a good look at the bottle, obviously matching the color scheme of the box. It's supposed to look like a martini shaker. And then on the back, like always, it says not to be taken. Now, I've always wondered what that means, not to be taken, because it seems so stupid to put that on the bottle. Not to be taken, like, okay. But on the inside of the, uh, the flap here, it says not to be taken without supervision. Highly addictive. So I guess that's what not to be taken means on all of the Pepe Jeans bottles. This one has grapefruit, ginger, yuzu, cardamom, and woods as the notes. So let's go ahead and spray it on. Yeah, yeah, it's really pleasant. Nice, yeah, 27 bucks, really good. When you're in sub $30 fragrance territory at discounters, 
it can get iffy. <laughs> a lot of fragrances in that price range are not good. It gives off almost a cooling sensation when you smell it, at least here in the opening. So you get a good amount of ginger, you get grapefruit, and a touch of yuzu. So there's this tart citrus facet working in with the sweeter grapefruit. It's not overly complex, but for the price, it actually smells much better than you might expect. You might be thinking this is gonna come across like a synthetic mess, like some of the light blue flankers can. Some of the citrus in there is not good. This smells more along the lines of something that Isimiyake would do, almost like, uh, like if you took an Isimiyake and blended it with an Yves Saint Laurent. Like you took a low DC and blended it with loam or something. Now it doesn't smell like either of those fragrances. It's just, you could almost imagine if you took the idea behind those scents and blended them together in a martini shaker, then it would smell something like this. Simple, fresh, spicy citrus. And for me, initial impressions in the opening, that smells good. Now what I'm about to say is super obvious. But if these Pepe Jeans fragrances were more well known, they would fly off the shelves, at least the E shelves at discounters every year. Under 30 bucks, really nice quality, very wearable, and a tacky bottle. So people would dig it. But Pepe Jeans is pretty much unknown. So these fragrances come out and people go, eh, don't care. Halloween Man Hero, let's check it out. Here is the box for Halloween Man Hero. It's got a very glitchy retro look to it which I dig. You can see here when the light hits it, just reflects off in a multitude of colors. And there's the bottom for you. My favorite Halloween is Halloween Man X, which I was really just kind of blown away by, frankly, for the quality that that fragrance had and the price you could pick it up for. And here's a look at the bottle. I like the gradient going on, the multicolor scheme. It's nice. Interestingly, for some reason, when this fragrance was announced, a number of people were unhappy that Halloween was coming out with a blue fragrance. I don't know why, but some people were not feeling that. Halloween man coming out with a fragrance that you can wear lots of places. Versatility? Untriggered. No, nah, it's okay, man. No problem. They're just uh, making a wearable fragrance. It's okay. Let's spray it on and see how good it is. There is definitely a little touch of that Invictus DNA as soon as you spray it on. Now, it's not super close to Invictus or Invictus Aqua. It's not something where I would say, oh yeah, this is 80% similar or even 50% similar. But there is a little bit of that bubble gum type of sweetness when you first spray this on. It does smell really pleasant. I could probably do with a little bit more ginger, but that's just because I'm a huge fan of ginger. The citrus in here is sweet and there's a good amount of it right off the top. As this makes its way around to more and more discounters and it hits that $30 or so price tag that most Halloween fragrances sit at, I imagine there will be bunches and bunches and bunches of guys that buy this and wear the heck out of it in spring, summer, and early fall. Absolutely a compliment pulling kind of fragrance. Does have a youthful type tinge to it. It's gonna be enormously versatile and it is going to be office safe from what I can smell here. You know what time it is. I'm gonna let these dry down. I'll be back in two seconds, so stick with me. I am back. I let both of these fragrances dry down and I also sprayed them on again on the top of my hands just to see how that opening was one more time. First things first, I had my wife smell these right after I got done filming and also after they dried down. And initially, she liked this one more, Pepe Jean's Cocktail. After they stayed on my skin a little bit longer though and dried down further, she liked this one more. Overall, she said she liked both of them a bunch and that's not really a surprise. Both of these fragrances are made for maximum mass appeal. Now let's talk about how the fragrances changed as they dry down. This one, Pepe Jean's Cocktail, has much more of a focus on yuzu than I was expecting. You can pick up the yuzu in this even a couple hours in. So initially, you've got that grapefruit and the yuzu and the ginger all working together. Then the grapefruit kind of fades away, and as it does, the yuzu stays put. So it becomes a woodsy, fresh, spicy yuzu scent, and it smells great through the mid. Now, all this being said, as I talk about the, the mid and as it dries down and all that stuff, I can't really talk to you guys about the performance. It's the first time I've worn them. 
Obviously, I'm just sitting here today. I'm not going around doing a bunch of stuff, so I can't talk to you about performance just yet. For the price, this one smells great. The citrus doesn't come across synthetic. It doesn't come across like, uh, like Lemon Pledge or something like that, like a household spray cleaner. None of that whatsoever. It smells really good. And if you like Yuzu fragrances with a fresh woodsy backbone, you should absolutely check this one out. If you're looking for an inexpensive summertime fragrance that will kill it during the day, during high heat situations. This stuff, really good. Now, Halloween Man Hero. How does this one change? Well, I talked to you guys briefly about how it had this Invictus vibe when you first spray it on, and it does. It doesn't smell exactly like Invictus, but it's got this kind of Invictus-y sweetness. That fades away pretty quickly though. Actually within the first 20 minutes, I would say, most of that Invictus vibe is gone. And then you start to get more of that sea saltiness mixing with lavender and amber woods. Technically in here, it's amber extreme, but still the idea behind it is the same, giving you this kind of ambroxony sea saltiness in the mid and then amber woods in the base or amber extreme. It stays clean the whole way through, stays fresh the whole way through. The sweetness actually takes a, a pretty good step back after that initial opening. Now the first blast for sure with this one is youthful, attention grabbing, compliment pulling to the max. I'm not the biggest fan of Invictus style fragrances. I've said that a million times and it still holds true. But even with me kind of being a little, you know, iffy on that type of open, I can still smell this and be like, yeah, that is an attention grabber. About 20 minutes in though, like I said, that sweetness steps back, you get more lavender, more sage, and ambroxany, sea salt vibe, and amber woodiness. As for which one I like more, I really flip-flopped a lot. I think in the initial opening, that Halloween Man Hero is a little bit better. Just the initial, initial opening. Through the mid, I prefer Cocktail. I like the Yuzu in here, it really stands out. It's, it smells really, really nice for the price. We're talking about 25 bucks. Ooh, really good. I would say on the whole that Halloween Man Hero has a little bit more going on, a little more complexity as it dries down. And really, you can't go wrong with either. Both are under 40 bucks, both are super versatile, both are people pleasing. There's a lot to like here. Both have gradient effect bottles. So for me, I like parts about each of them. I don't think that at this moment in time, I have a clear cut favorite one over the other. I would say though, heading into the summer, that I would probably reach for this one more often, just because it does give me that really nice, refreshing citrus blast with a good amount of yuzu, which I feel like is underutilized. So if you really want to, maybe you could say that I would reach for this one more and therefore I like it more? I don't know. One thing that I do think is that Halloween Man Heroes opening outshines its dry down, at least from what I can tell right now. The opening is attention grabbing, it's bold in a modern sweet kind of way, but the dry down, kind of falls into familiar territory. Not that the opening is completely unfamiliar, because like I said, it's got that Invictus sort of feel to it. But once you hit that dry down, it does lose a little bit of that attention grabbing nature. So while it is good and it will be a fantastic cheapy fragrance for lots of people, especially when it hits about 30 bucks, I would say that the dry down for me I wish it had a, a little more to it. Again though, these are just first impressions. As I wear it more, maybe I'll pick up on some things that I'm missing out on right now. So there we go guys, Halloween Man Hero, Pepe Jeans Cocktail. Two fragrances that you could potentially add for this summer, and I think either one would do great. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.